Moshi Moshi, my name gamers, and welcome back to Weathering Waves. What does Wei mean to Kuwait? Will this artist find the courage to conflict her past mistakes as she gets caught up against his past occasions? Will she be able to reconnect with her emotion and talent and continue to breathe with new life into her paintings? Today, we'll do the new character story quest. Before we start, let's do the child character. Sure, sure. Oh, sure, you're doing it. What's she drawing? He's drawing in the air? Oh, there's paint on her. What do you think she's making? Are you a good girl? You good? Yeah, she's good. I think she's making hand tie light. Mm. Okay, another one. Mm. Oh, now I see something she's drawing. Mm. <sighs> you guys see that? Whoa! Okay, let's get started. The fighting style. E it's like a snipe! What the hell? Basic attack. Brushing. Just, why did that one kill with Hawkeye Effect dead? I forgot her name. I do have her. But I don't play that game anymore. Josh attack! Okay, beautiful. E and... Ooh, E again? Oh, no! Push all. Capture the spark! Jiggled, well... I mean, of course they have, of course they are ballistic, right? Anyways, beat this ass. Let me show you something. You go to your profile and click here and look at this. Eons of time on this vast land, all encapsulated in a humble game. Damn! I am fortunate to have you love as the... my opponent. I love the blue angle. If you don't mind me staring, you Lin. What's that look on your face? Surprised to see me? Oh, come on, can I see your ass cheeks? I am Baiju, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Sexy scientist. Rover, it's almost time for the dispute hearing. Okay. I... I still hope you'll come with me. Yeah. I don't mean to burden you, but if you'd like to come, please meet me at the Public Security Bureau entrance. You got it, artist. What you want, girl? Hmm. Oh, look at the kitty. I didn't expect such a big crowd at the hearing. Hmm. Sh should I take the stand myself? What do you think, little kitty? Ah, maybe we can do a little show of, um, paws. Raise your left paw if you think I should testify, or your right paw if... W wait! You raised your left paw before I even finished my sentence. No, that doesn't count. Let's try again. Uh, the cow's itchy. Okay. Kitty. If you raise your right paw, I'll let someone else handle it. Hmm. Right paw, huh? Well, I did actually want to tell everyone the truth myself. Let's give this another shot. Miss Jiajia, the hearing is about to start. If you would please join us. Now? Y yes, Madame Juyo. I I'll be there in a minute! Hi, Shinshu. I made it. Uh, Rover! Oh, you're here! It's... it's really nice to see you. And... I appreciate you coming. I just handed over all the evidence we gathered from Mingyang's studio and the Exiles camp to the patrollers. Now the Shangyun Art Exchange can't deny the fact they were producing and trading art forgeries. But there is one more thing. The patroller said we still need someone to testify in the hearing. Hmm. Uh, do you want me to testify? If that's possible? You're really kind, but, um, I'll be fine to do this myself. You've already helped me so much. Even just having you here is a huge relief. Some things I've got to face on my own. That said, I, uh, didn't... Didn't expect there would be so many spectators coming to watch. If I get nervous and mess up any details, could you please help to remind me? No problem. Thank you. Having you here helps. More than you know. It's about time. We should probably go in, huh? Yeah. So, what's she doing exactly? Oh, it's a companion mission. I said story quest. You know what? 
doesn't make any difference say with order, but the uh, same thing in why are you doing this? With both parties present, this hearing is now in session. Let us begin. What you drawing? First, a brief overview of the case before us. Miss Jiejie alleges that the guilty party, Ming Yan, implicated in the tacit discord assault, was coerced into committing art fraud under duress. Therefore, her mental state was adversely affected, which led to her committing actions contrary to her will. Today, based on new evidence provided by Miss Jiejie and the result of this is hearing, Jiji, okay. we will determine whether to revisit Ming Yan's charges and consider if the Shangyun Art Exchange is indeed guilty of selling illegal art forgeries. What? With all due respect, this doesn't match what we discussed before. Mr. Baitsu, I remind you that any evidence or arguments presented before and during the hearing are valid. If you would like to add further information, you're welcome to do so at any point. Now, without further ado, either party may begin their opening statement. Madame Juya, the, the situation is... Madame Juya, as the head of the Shan Yuan Art Exchange, I, Baitsa, must clear our name and seek justice here today. There are two points I'd like to address. Firstly, the authenticity of our artworks remains unimpeachable. Secondly, Ming Yan's provocative creations stem solely from her own greed and vanity. She alone should bear responsibility for the assault. Throughout my tenure at the Art Exchange, our foremost principle has been that of integrity, a well-known fact. And yet, integrity in business is not enough to stave off discord. We are aware of certain painters rejected by the Art Exchange, nursing grudges and resorting to threats. They bombarded us with spite? and slander causing a public uproar simply because they didn't get what they wanted. Should the public be swayed by these slanderous insinuations that paint us as wicked fraudsters, then I'm afraid justice will never be served. Please control yourself, Mr. Beitzer. <sighs> Forgive me, madam. But if this injustice persists, I will have no choice but to sue them for harming the Shan Yuan Art Exchange's reputation. They have damaged the trust we built with our clients. I demand they compensate us for our losses and issue a public apology. Such disgraceful behavior will not diminish us. Our principles will not waver, and we will protect the Shan Yuan Art Exchange from any ill intent. Hmm. He's trying to change the goddamn sir topic. I've bought paintings from Shan Yuan Art Exchange before. They were good quality, and their service was decent. Hard to believe they'd be involved in something like this. The honest always get the short end of the stick. But who's Ming Yan? A painter? Never heard of him. <sighs> Must be some nobody trying to get attention using the Shan Yuan's name. Why is the art exchange always in the middle of some controversy? Order! Order! You may continue your statement. I... Uh... Madam, allow us to present our account of the events. There you go. Diggers, I'm here. Really began three days ago. Diggers, I'm here. I was entrusted to investigate a certain arcane artist in the Tiger's Maw. So let me show you by drawing some pentaite. Hey, Rover! Took you long enough to get here. <laughs> so, so you're the one who orders this task? Things are getting awfully strange around the mine lately. Figured you're just the one to untangle this mess. With your knack for solving mysteries, you'll
You'll figure this out in no time. What happened? I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but there's a special folktale in Jinjo. Word has it, there's this mysterious arcane artist whose paintings come to life as they paint, as if each brushstroke has a life of its own. Once their canvas dries, whatever they've painted leaps right off the page. Mythical creatures, the whole shebang, all real as day. The thing is, anyone who might have seen these paintings, well, they vanish into thin air. What does the might have to do with all of this? Lately, I've been receiving reports about eerie monsters wandering the mine at midnight. Some witnesses even ran into them more than once. These monsters, they look like paintings from a distance, but approach them and they're as docile as can be. Reading these reports, I couldn't shake the tale of the arcane artist from my mind. Sure, some say it's just a prank or some new tacit discord variant. But with rumors swirling, folks are getting jittery. Can't let things escalate. That's why I reached out to you. Let me take it from here. Great. Counting on you to crack this case wide open. Oh, and you might want to chat up the witnesses. Got their names right here for you. Okay, sure. I'm just being up oh, with my girls. Let's go, ladies. Um, now let's put you first. Ah, uh, that's it for today. Time for a break. Oh, hey there. You need something? Tell me about the recent events at the pine. Oh, you've come to the right guy. I was actually the first to see those weird things. I was playing chess with the old miners until midnight, then headed home alone. On my way back. I heard these strange moans like some kind of monster was out there. Wait, so monsters fucking each other? What? At first I thought they were tacit discords and I was ready to bolt. But then I realized they were different. These monsters, they were being drawn to something. Curiosity got the better of me. So I took a step closer and saw that they had these strange features. Gleaming eyes, gnarled horns, and dark green bodies covered in slimy liquid. Oh, could it be related to the arcane artists? Do you think they're related? Did Gupon tell you about that old folktale? You know, I did see some people standing nearby. Just some shadows, really, because it was so dim. Well, the light was flickering in the wind, so I couldn't make out their faces. But I knew something was weird with the scrolls they had in their hands. Every time they moved, more monsters appeared. Later, I told everyone about it, and Gupon was there. She freaked out, saying it was just like the tale of the arcane artist. They? There were more than one person on the scene that night? I I'm not sure, but I overheard them talking. No, actually, arguing would be more accurate. Anyway, I got worried those monsters might attack me, so I bolted and didn't catch what they were arguing about. Do you remember where you saw them? I do remember. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of going there, are you? Whatever those monsters are, they're unidentified and dangerous. If you have to go, be really careful, alright? Hey now, do you know who I am? I don't think so. I got girls with me! <laughs> My ladies. I might replace Baiju. Ooh, hold up, what's going on? Is he my army? The monsters both be. I laugh the voice with them. All the half your tractors quite like hybrids? Stop, give me the chills. Stop being so paranoid. Remember last time when the guys were collecting laundry on the skateboard and they thought it was a ghost? You need to calm the fuck down. Ah, they saw some too. Anyways, I was saying I might have replaced Baiju. If the next kid was like Cryo or Ice is not a healer. I just have because I need a healer on my team for now. Alright, next witness. A soldier. Uh, you don't look like you work at the mine. Can I help you with something? Tell you about the recent events at the mine. Oh yes, that strange event. It's the talk of the town right now. I've conducted several investigations and found that those monsters tend Do to appear around the mob movements the when they talk? For NPCs? The locations seem random though. Fortunately, they haven't caused much harm. I think it's because they always show up and vanish in the dead of night. If you ask me, these monsters are a new type of tacit discord. Since they're unrecorded, our terminal can't trigger an alarm when they're nearby. For safety reasons, we have increased our patrols around the mine. Hmm. Do you notice anything else unusual? Anything else unusual? Hmm. Yes, 
There was one thing, aside from the blurred silhouettes I saw that night. I remember hearing voices. Like people talking. The voices came from where those silhouettes were, but they sounded like vague muttering. Thinking about it now, if it was a human voice, how could someone get so close to those monsters without crying out for help? Oh, hey. Thank you for your information. Okay, interesting. So, now... Approach the scene? I mean, okay. Guess we're going this way. I've gathered enough information. It's time to check the scene where those monsters were spotted. Right here? Oh, most likely. You I see a flower. Well, I get that? Nah, I'm good. Gonna be okay. There's... something ahead. That figure. That paintbrush. Could it be... Well... I don't see the fuck you're talking about. One of the pills. In the cussing. SOS signal. It's talking from the car. Nothing here. Huh. That's odd. Did I just imagine that? You got touched. R Rover, you're here. <laughs> what was that about? Sorry, did I scare you just now? I'm fine. Why are you here? Finding inspiration. You sure? The night often sparks my creativity. Don't tell me you're actually the icon artist. I'm like so disappointed. Of course not. I I heard about the tale of the arcane artist and hoped to find out who they are. Sorry I lied to you. I just I didn't want to drag anyone else into this. Hmm. Mm. Uh you too? Why are you why are you investigating this? Bringing painted creatures to life, making fantasies real. It sounds like a fairy tale. But when the arcane artist first caught people's attention in Jinjo years ago, it was more than just a tale. Now this story is making the rounds again. Most don't see the dangers it holds. As someone who feels the threat, I... I want to uncover the truth before it's too late. The arcane artist showed up before? Yes. There was once an artist who could create paintings that felt so real, you could almost step into them. But these paintings, they strayed from the artist's original intentions and caused a lot of trouble. I don't know who's behind these latest events, but if it's really the arcane artist, their paintings will bring nothing but trouble. Th that's why I, I have to stop them to prevent the past from repeating itself. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at investigating, so I haven't found any major clues yet. I'm here for the arcane artist, but also hoping to meet an old acquaintance. Maybe he knows what happened in the mine. I'm going with you. It's linked to the case I'm investigating. Is that so? Oh, okay. She's like a shy type, how she speaks. Maybe it's just an interesting character? Okay, we are not imagining things. Something is right there. What is that? Like some sort of goal? Hey, you should turn around and be like, it's on there. Okay, anyways, it's killed me, sir. Hey, Jija. Long time no see. You need more pigments already? N no. Not yet. And this must be the rover. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Didn't realize you and Jujin knew each other. We met during the moon chasing festival. Oh yeah, I'm doing it off camera. But I've never had the chance to introduce myself properly. A great moment for it. Here's the thing, Rover. I can't say I know Jujin very well, but I do know she's got this 
quirk where her courage tends to crumble right when it's crunch time. So, when it comes to introducing herself to you, I'd bet money on it. She's been mentally rehearsing it for forever before she got the guts to take action. No, it's not like that. Judge, you can't keep avoiding things. You've got to take action or you'll never get what you want. You only live once, right? Uh, well, that's a bit too much. Yes, Mr. Shilang is right. Rover, I've actually been meaning to tell you something. But you love me? Hello, my name is Zhe Zhi. We have met before, but I like to make this a formal request. I would really like for us to become friends. Or oh, besties. Sure. Of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Hello? Jojo. I just became romantical. Hey, what are you waiting for? No, she was JJBing. Oh, that would have been goofy. Uh, I, um... Okay. I can do this. Um... Rober... <laughs> nah, she lost it. Huh? <laughs> That was a pretty obvious slip at the top. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, I fucking failed! <clears throat> nice to meet you. My name is Zhe Zhi. I'm a, a painter. I take art commissions and strive to create beautiful paintings. I, I'm not being very articulate. <laughs> but, but I hope we can be friends. Uh, I'm not gonna do that cutesy face thing, am I? Hands shaking, that's it. <laughs> well, <wait. laughs> How sweet. I must say, I've never seen Judge this nervous since she first became one of my cherished patrons. Well, wait, Mr. Shilang. We're actually here today to talk about the tale of the arcane artist. Oh, I know the tale. But I've never come across this mystical maestro myself. If such an artist truly existed, I'd be the first to know, without a doubt. What well, makes you say that? I supply ore to pigment manufacturers and sometimes serve as their sales proxy. So most painters in Jinjo come to my shop to buy pigments. Any suspicious about the pigment buyers? Hmm. Well, pigments aren't flying off the shelves these days. Just a few regulars, you know? Oh, but those ore buyers from a while back, they seemed a bit suspicious. They bought heaps of leftover ore, the cheapest type, and told me not to let anyone know they got the ore here. People don't usually buy that stuff. Oh, wait. Jijin, didn't you buy some once? A long time ago, right? I remember you saying you couldn't afford the fancy pigments. So you made your own. That stuck with me. So when those guys asked for leftovers, I paid extra attention. Are you sure you can tell us this? I thought they asked you to keep it a secret. <laughs> they turned out to be thieves who stole from me during the night. But when I found out, I reported the theft to the patrollers, and that was the end of it. Thieves don't deserve my business or respect. May I look at your trash cushion record? Of course. Help yourself. Okay, let's check this out. So mostly the mostly Yan Fink. Damn, okay. What we got so far. If this is the situation. It's Jay! What brings you here? It's been ages since we last met. The patrol station's been pretty busy lately, so I haven't had the time to catch up with you. And Chich is here too. Hiya! Do you remember me? We met at the Moon Chasing Festival. Oh my gosh, it's a finger touching again. Oh, are you alright? You don't look well. Do you need help? It's like, you're just very energetic compared to me! Hello? No, it's not. Uh, no, thank you. The 
painting we had you do for us during the festival is awesome. Everyone loves it. So we put it up on the wall. Really? <laughs> I'm glad you all like it. We'd also like to invite you to our station so we can formally thank you in person. Wait, how about coming to the station with me today? Are you heading back to the city? Uh, but we're still investig... I... <sighs> okay. Mm. Wait, we have a case to investigate. Investigate? About what? A new case? Yes, about the outgoing artist tale. Oh, I get it. In that case, it's probably not the best time for a get-together. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, just tell me if you need any help. Thanks, but why are you here, Chayax? Oh, I'm here to support the patrollers. There was an assault near the mine recently, and they're short on people to investigate. What's odd is those monsters haven't caused any more trouble since we got here. Right now, we're talking to witnesses and trying to figure out what triggered the incident. Is it all happening in the background? Did something just happen over there? Don't tell me it's a tacit discord! Hold on, just got a message. Seems like they really are stirring up trouble again. I'm sorry, but I gotta go check this out! We go with you. Sh should we go as well? Why not? Maybe we'll find some clues useful in our case. You could be right, but there's one other thing. What? 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 After Rover and I bumped into each other, we decided to investigate the surroundings and follow Patroller Chisha to the scene of the incident. It was there we learned about the details of Mingyan's offense and the truth behind the tale of the arcane artist. Once Juju has the paintbrush in her hand, she begins to speak calmly. She'll be fine making the statement on her own now. Mm hmm Okay. Now, ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm being <laughs> hurt. Okay, it's like, warning, warning, warning. My god, how about so bouncy? Watch out! Attack! I mean, I know the ballistic vice, I know that. I'm just saying. Kill them. You're dead. With the power of art, you are fucked. She so seems to be struggling to tell what they could express earlier, but eventually stay silent. <gasps> Sorry to trouble you. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Uh, wait, uh, I haven't said why. What I'm trying to say is, if I had been clearer, you wouldn't have had to explain things to Chisha for me. She's really nice. It's just, we're not that close, and I'm not sure how to respond to how friendly she is. I didn't want to be rude, so I... I couldn't bring myself to turn her down. It's okay, I got you. I'll do my best not to trouble you and express my feelings properly next time. No trouble at all. Thank you. The both of you decide to ask people about, about the situation. Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey! Where are you going? Are you just gonna... Wait a minute, hold on a sec. I'm somehow taller. Not the, not the same high, but this one. Damn! Is she younger than these three? Or oh, maybe the same age, but it's just the heels. Okay, let's go have a chat with this guy. Hi, friend! Thanks for your help, Rover. We caught the culprit before anything worse could happen. We were lucky to have you here. What was the cause of the incident? According to the preliminary examination, we suspect that these tacit discords were agitated by the frequency fluctuations from a scroll painting found at the scene. The energy remaining in the painting was generated by its creator's forte, nearly overclocking. But rest assured, we've calmed her down and contained the energy. Mm, it's a fourth day, just as I suspected. The painting needs to be thoroughly examined to identify its connection with the monsters and eliminate any potential risk it still poses. Thanks for all your help. We'll take it from here. What's the decision with the artist? She fessed up when I first started talking to her, but clammed up when I tried to dig deeper. Well, honestly, she seemed a bit off to me. Uh, but we don't have time for that now. We gotta clean up the scene and get the damage under control. Can I check on that painting later? You sure can. Hmm, this is a hand side painting. Oh, oh, it's down there. What's it look like if I could see it? The painting becomes slightly blurry when you start it, and for a moment, this, this seems to come to life. Huh? Talk to. come to life? Huh, yeah, why can't I see it how it looks like? 
Okay, talk to injuries. Excuse me, ma'am. Why? Ming Yang? Why are you... Do you know her? Yes. We used to take painting lessons together. You? Uh, I... I... I didn't... I... Uh, I hurt them. It... It was a mistake. You mean you hurt those people? I... I'm alone. Why the fuck did you do this? <laughs> what well, else like that? For some NPCs, Ming Yan appears to be done talking about the matter. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mm, okay. You're next. Thank goodness I wasn't hurt. It was so close. Did you see what just happened? Part of it, I guess. Do you be first on the situation? I saw that painter. She looked like she was losing it. I'm talking shouting, waving her paintbrush around like she was sweeping the sky. I might be off here, but I swear those things on her scroll started squirming around before the whole swarm of monsters exploded out of thin air. They started to whack and thwack people all over the place. I was terrified and ran away as fast as my legs would take me. Did you hear what she said? Not super clearly, but when I was running for my life, I heard her screaming at all those creatures all like, Stop! Don't do this! I think she might have been trying to stop them from hurting people. Evil description. Thank you for your help. I mean, thanks for your help. All right. Ah, oh, my head. Oh, it hurts. Did you hear what the artist said? Only a bit. It looked like she was arguing with someone right before the weird visions appeared. I heard stuff like, Don't stop me! I've, I've already won! And who doesn't want fame and fortune? That's a good thing they caught that painter. Can't imagine what could have happened otherwise. Well, I've met my fair share of artists, but none that would gamble with lives for the sake of their work? Huh. That's a first for me. Interesting. Okay, excuse me! You want to see how I'm looking? Strange. Huh? Oh, you're back. I think I figured out the truth behind the arcane artist tale. You, you figured it out already? Mm -hmm. uh, check out that painting. The painting blurs the line between reality and illusion, causing whoever sees it to experience hallucinations. Mm -hmm. The researchers did say that they were created by the artist Forte. So. Mingyan channeled her forte into the painting, creating temporary phantasm. People saw her abilities and spread the rumor, believing she was the arcane artist from the tale. And the test of the were being drawn to her forte. The monsters described in the rumors were probably just exaggerated phantasms seen by scared people at night. In fact, I had sensed something odd at the mine, but after we met, I thought it was coming from you. So I didn't give it much attention. Come to think of it now, it might have been Ming Yan's forte fluctuation. So she was there at the same time we were. I didn't even notice her presence. But what could have driven her to create such dangerous paintings? One witness says she probably did this for personal gain. From what I know of her, she doesn't seem like someone who would take such risks for personal gain. Hey, at least on your end? She kept squeezing my hand and trying to tell me something, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. I think she wants me to continue the investigation. Maybe there's more to this story than I thought. Besides, I don't recall her having a forte before. Maybe this has something to do with me. Hmm. Okay. It's linked to my case as well. Then... If you're up for it, I hope you can join me in the investigation. Consider it a formal invitation. Say over. Where should we start from? You want me to decide? To be honest, I haven't really thought it through. Hmm. I remember meeting Ming Yang in an art studio in Jinzhou before. I wonder if she kept going there after I left. Should that be our first stop? She may have left some of her artwork behind. That could be a good start. Yeah. I've never tried to investigate anything, so I'm not sure if this is the way to go. I think it is. After you then. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So where is it? 
After learning about the details of the assault, we decided to push forward with the investigation to get to the truth. Pointless! The witnesses on the scene made it clear that it was all because of Ming Yan's greedy ambition that she... I haven't finished my statement, Mr. Bai Zi. Shut up! Good job, kick you! This is the studio? Huh. Yes, this is the art studio. My memory did serve me right. Looks like she's been painting here. Let's find the clues. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't mind what I'm doing yet. Walking, walking in. Wait, can I go to the window? What did I? <laughs> I went to the window. What's the point of me doing that, anyways? Okay, inspect the paper. Okay. Some pieces of paper are beside the desk. They appear to be softer and lighter than the old original paper. This paper. Anything one? This white jade paper has a rich history. Its smooth, fine texture holds ink beautifully. Exactly what you want for more delicate brushwork. Countless masterpieces, both old and new, were painted on this paper. Like Chinai's Voyage to Yum Mountain and Ealing's Chishi's Dawn of Spring, both two good examples. Whoops, I got carried away. Wait, there's a discount sticker on the wrapping, and it looks quite new. Discount? Yes, White Jade Hall runs a yearly sale. I attended it two days ago and bought paper with this same packaging. Ming Yang likely bought her paper there too. Half of the stock has already been used, which means she was painting day and night until the incident. It's amazing that you can tell the difference. Different papers result in different artistic effects. Real artists can always spot these differences and choose the right paper to showcase various styles. White jade paper is my absolute favorite, but because it's so expensive, I can only afford to buy it when there's a special sale. I can't pass up a great deal, so I stock up whenever I can. It usually takes a whole day to carry all the boxes home, but I must say, it's worth it. How do you know so much? Buy three, get one free. Buy five, get two free. And then there's the additional weekly coupons. I know everything there is to know about the discounts. <laughs> How do you know about Ming Yan's habits? We have the same painting style. And the quality of our finished works is remarkably similar. Even if we use different brush techniques, our similar styles mean we should finish a painting in about the same time. Once a painter holds a paintbrush in their hand, they won't stop until every detail meets their standards. It becomes an obsession. I guess this is true for most painters. Mm, you think all of us? We all paint like that? Okay, she wants to check over here. You're slaying with woman. Okay, let's check you. Su Juju stands stunned before the painting. Words hover on her lips, we will remain unspoken. Why does this painting have all look the same? There is a difference. The brushwork on this one, see how heavy it is? You can tell Ming Yang was in low spirits. And this one, the strokes are light and fluid. That tells me she was happy when she painted this. The feelings a painter has during the process of creation often linger in the brushstrokes without them knowing. They're present in every line, even if the artist tries to hide it. You understand the painter's feelings through the work? Yes. To me, painting is like a window into the heart of the artist. When words fail, these feelings can be depicted through brushstrokes instead. Huh. It is strange though. She keeps reproducing the same painting over and over, using techniques that aren't her usual style. Something's written on the painting. Water and... what the fuck is this? Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks in the dream remain. Colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades, forgotten today. This artwork is titled Serenity of Xiehua Village. It captures the scenic landscape seen from the village itself. Wait, your clothes. Ah, the pigment! When did I get all my clothes? Huh? It came off with just a little white. Hmm. It shouldn't come off the fabric so easily. Hmm. It got off? You went to work? Okay, that's kinda creepy. You just walked to work. Oh, like, um, let's check here. The clothes? Hmm? What's this? You're seeing an old garment. 
tingle with stains. The colors look unusual. Hmm. Looks like they're stains from ink and paint that have been washed out over time. Mingyan could have improvised her clothing as a canvas for her ideas. How do you know this? I used to do this as well. Whenever nature inspired me and I was short on paper, I'd paint rough outlines onto my clothes. That's news to me. After all, fabric used to be a common art material. Besides, using clothes does help to cease fleeting inspiration, don't you think? It's a shame the clothes are stained forever, but it's worth it to see how different inks behave on fabric. Mm -hmm. So is, is that it? I don't know what goes to me anyways. Lastly, oh my god, I just gotta read all this. <gasps> and no, I'm not gonna read this. That's like too much reading. How could this happen? Hmm. It seems as she's hit the ball like doing her creation. Being picky about one's work is second nature to an artist. I'm no exception. There's never been a moment when I saw my art outshining someone else's. I've always admired my fellow artists. Hoping that one day I could be as good as them, perhaps even surpass them. I kept painting and improving, but no matter how hard I tried, I always felt it wasn't good enough. <sighs> this needs to be refined. It's not quite there yet. Still short of perfect. Will my client be disappointed? I had these kind of thoughts every day while I painted. It started creeping into my daily life too. It's true that one might find motivation in these thoughts, but they can also lead one astray. I felt trapped for ages until I finally figured out the path I ought to follow. Embrace my emotions fully and create the art my heart yearns for. This is of the greatest importance to me. But if I found myself in the same situation as Ming Yang, perhaps, perhaps I'd react similarly and lose my way. She was forced into this and was looking for a way out. I can't just turn a blind eye and let them charge her. There must be a way to uncover the truth and save her. Yes, we should continue our investigation now. Okay, so around here? Oh, what's this? Investigate the hub. What? What is this? Hey, have a look at this. Seems like this pigment is homemade. But why are there herbs in it? Did she use a new recipe I'm not familiar with? It does look like a pigment, more like the medicine herb reduced to me. Medicinal herb residue? She must have been making medicinal remedies recently. This must be the leftover residue she didn't get around to cleaning up. These herbs were used for medicine. Oh, so those plants I saw in the pharmacy weren't just for decoration. Have you seen someone brewing this before? I, I've never tried myself. When I get sick, I usually just wait it out. My family always brought me remedies and soups. I never thought about how they were made. Sorry, I'm just not very experienced. You're good. Okay, what? What's the investigating? Broken pot? I mean, vase? Oh my goodness. Fabrics of the vase scattered across the floor. The scrolls and papers on the dirty, as if it's been rummaged, but do. What happened here? I think. Hmm. No, I might be wrong. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just a thought. I might be wrong. This is a discussion. There's no way to want. Then... I'll share it with you. Go on. The vase must have been on that cabinet, judging by where it fell. Charge the powers. What are you doing? Oh. Looks like the cabinet used to be over there, but something bumped into it, and that's why the vase got knocked over. You think? I bet the water on the floor is from the fishbowl. Huh. Well, why is that watermark in the shape of a gold puff? <gasps> okay. I figured it out. That must be the reason. Rover will definitely be impressed with my deductive skills. Uh, what? You say, hey, you like me, don't you? Um, I got yin yin. <laughs> oh my god, does she like us? I think she likes us. Do you love me? 
I bet she does. A gulpoth jumped out of the fishbowl, knocking over the vase and causing it to shatter on the floor. Then it landed on a pile of paintings. Realizing it was in trouble and afraid of getting scolded, it slipped out of the window. Who can scold Philpus as pets? Ah, why wouldn't they? My family used to have an aquarium at home with lots of gold puffs. I thought it was a popular trend. Sorry, I need to improve my investigation skills. Mm, it's okay, you just need more clues. I see. I guess I jumped to conclusions. I'll do better next time. By the way, was that your forty just now? Oh yes. These are phantasms I can create with my brush. They only exist for a short while. I haven't done this for a long time. I'm a bit rusty now. Haven't done this for a long time? Yes. I rarely need to use my forte in daily life. When it comes to painting, I prefer the traditional way. It helps me to understand my progress and improve my skills. An artwork created with forte is indeed mesmerizing, nearly flawless. But that's not my goal. So I've used this ability less over time. But it's fine to use it for the investigation. Do you think my girl's case has something to do with you? Yes. It could be related to my forte. So you seems to be a bit upset and I'm going to continue the topic. We'll talk about this later. Let's look outside now. Okay. Through the window! Oh! Footprints. Yeah, someone's been here. I wonder what that is. Someone left these tracks. This could be a missing piece in the theory. Hmm. Someone broke into the studio looking for something. Or trying to steal something. Probably something tied to Ming Yang's paintings. However, they were startled by something unexpected, and in their panic to escape through the window, collided with the cabinet, causing the vase to fall. That makes more sense now. This might be related to the Shang Yun Art Exchange and Ming Yan's breakdown. Let's follow these tracks and see where they lead. Good idea. So if that be moving, then they'll speak. The clues from the studio led us to an exile's camp. There, we found new clues that pointed to a hidden player behind all of this. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, we're getting closer. Excel or camp? Are you si- Oh my god, enemies. I serious? Oh, great. Some oil go at the scale besides the trolley with color stains on it. Looks like pigments. The trolley is worn. Maybe it carried something very heavy. Maybe the XL used it to transport ore and pigments. Could it be they transported ore, made pigments from them, and then moved the pigments elsewhere? Could the buyers Mr. Shilong mentioned be the ones who stole the ore? Let's see if we can find the evidence. Actually, yeah. Why not? Okay, uh, like start with this one. Okay. A large part of everyone's ore is mixed up with the pyramids, unmarked and unpackaged. Scarlet thorn, indigoid, and other ore. These match the raw materials for pigments listed on Mr. Shilong's transaction record. Hmm. Seems you're right. I took a look and noticed that these pigments were handcrafted from these specific ores. Standard pigments adhere well and last a long time, but these makeshift pigments smear with the slightest touch. Was the pigment in Mingyan Studio the same as this? They are similar. Did she buy these low quality pigments from the exiles? But why did these people break into her studio? Hmm. Someone's coming this way. Seriously? Uh oh. Hide! Who oh. are you? Uh, uh Kill them! Uh, hello. Uh, we are. We want to buy paintings. You're here to buy paintings? <laughs> That's not how this works. Go on, get out of here. We're actually here for Ming Yang's paintings. She wasn't in her studio, so we thought we could ask around. Huh? Okay then, my bad. What do you mean just now? It's nothing, just wait for her here. When she leaves, it usually doesn't take long for her to return. Do you know her? Know her? We go way back. She's okay in our books. 
Though she hasn't had the easiest run either. She helped us out a while back. Guess you could call us friends. She even gifted us a painting. It's somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, here it is. We're no fancy connoisseurs, but even we can tell that girl can paint. I kind of like it myself. It's lively, bright, almost like you could touch the freedom and joy she felt painting it. Does something happen to her recently? Can't recall anything noteworthy. My guess? She's dabbling in some new secretive art piece. I spotted her taking risky stabs at painting out in the wild. Well, now that you mention it, I do remember her talking about making art you could step into or whatever. But her little art excursion stirred up some unstable frequencies. We warned her, but did she listen? Nope. That's right, I saw her paintings myself. Tried to steer her clear and what do I get? A lecture. Artists. <laughs> Always on their own wild wavelength, aren't they? Sorry to interrupt, but mind if I ask what you normally do for a living? Us? Oh, the usual. A bit of hunting, some gigs here and there. Just the everyday grind. You don't buy oil to make your own pigment? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> you reminded me. We do make and sell pigments, occasionally. Oh yeah, Ming Yan buys from us often. We give her the lowest price, just as friends do. Oh, I see. Thank you. We'll leave though. We should kill them. Like, we know what you did. You found some exiles. I have an idea. Do you want to say something just now? Yes. I think neither these exiles nor Minion has told the truth. I noticed some of the exiles' hands were blackened. The thought suddenly hit me. What if it's from constant exposure to ink? If so, they must be making a lot of pigments and ink sticks. Hmm, but they lied to us to try to cover it up. The painting they showed us and the artworks in the studio, they all match what Ming Yang described in her diary. Her diary shows us she had major mood swings, which really affected her art. All these strange things started happening after the Shen Yun Art Exchange got involved. We can visit the camp again tonight, what do you say? Good idea. You two push your way until night falls. Uh, she's just sitting next to me and ends up calling us and it's like, Ah! I didn't mean to call you! Like, why are you pushing your arms around me? We're getting cold! I mean, your outfit is kind... I mean, you're wearing a fabric outfit, so it's not making you warm. So... I hear people talking. Uh, we're getting on the conversation. Okay, I'll use my terminal to record it, just in case. We could fight them off. Optional. Hey, I like that idea. Oh, Mr. Beitzer stopped by again. Grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yan's paintings to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Now she can't even paint. And our order is gonna be late. Hey, watch yourself. I just did what I always do. She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just wanted her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? Luckily, I slipped away, and the patrollers didn't suspect me. It's no big deal. I pinned it all on Ming yet, so we're in the clear. Someone was here earlier asking about her case. No patrollers, but do you think they could find out what we did? Doubtful. They might notice we're making pigments here, but that's it. It doesn't matter if they find out. We pose as exiles. And what doesn't an exile do? But we should be careful. Remember what Mr. Beitzer warned us about. Keep these things on the down low. And if anyone finds out, they can't be allowed to trace it back to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. Oh, we heard you. Okay, so what, what now? So the Shen Yuan Art Exchange has been involved in Ming Yang's case right from the start. No wonder they got all shifty when we brought up Ming Yang earlier. Hmm, Ying Fing, that name sounds familiar. It was his signature on Mr. Shizong's transaction record. We spoke about what happened. When I asked him about the incident, he put all the blame on Ming Yan, saying she had ulterior motives. The exiles we questioned during the day did the same, trying to divert attention and cover up their own involvement at the scene in the first place. What well, the hell speak? These distractions led us to concentrate solely on Ming Yan, ignoring other possible angles. I have a theory. But we need that batch of paintings they mentioned to test it. Let's get the air another sweep. But there are so many more people in the camp now. How should we get in? We disguise ourselves as exiles. Okay. 
Seriously? But there's some clothes in here. You two agree to change into your disguise. So, okay, I guess that works. Do we see how it look? Oh, we don't. You call this exile? Really? That's that's kind of good. This should do the trick. Now, let's see what information we can find inside the camp. Hmm. Yes. Agree. <sighs> Never thought I'd get worn out from something this light. Let me help you with that. Wow. Thanks. I'll go take a breather then. Right. The rest of the supplies are in the northern warehouse. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't know suspect the ding, right? Pass around. No, hey! Inspector Clues? Oh boy, look at all this. Uh, at just number five, number one, number six, and all of these. I can't believe the number of painters involved. They know where they all live, too. That must be just the tip of the iceberg. These addresses are not too far from each other. So the art exchange must be managing its network by district. This camp is likely the hub for this district, handling transportation and supplies. Judging from the list, it looks like they're still searching for artists to create forgeries. We must stop them from expanding their network. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, it's with the clues. Oh, shit, look at all of this. Damn, look what is damn? What? These paintings are all fakes. I don't remember the real ones circulating the market. How has this managed to be kept from the public for so long? Hmm, most of these paintings were sent to the Yongqing Axe They risk being exposed if they transport through ports. Not to mention the threats from the Shanyun Art Exchange. We should look for more clues. Well... Yeah, like... Down there. Not gonna know. Uh, hey, I will kill. Okay, um. Okay, expect clues. Same place of a coin. I content. want out of this. Impossible. We've never had anyone quit from a deal. Besides, you've already taken the money. You can have the money back. Every penny of it. I just want out. Please. I won't make it difficult for you. You think we'll let you go just like that after seeing our entire operation? You know what? Could work something out. But it'll come at a small fee. Gotta have insurance. What do you want? A dead person tells no tales. <laughs> the coin goes sign for a while before someone speaks again. That's everything from our talk yesterday, boss. She's still holding her cards close. Keep an eye on her for now. If she tries anything, take her out. Did they fuck her? Understood. Damn! They f Okay, anyways. No, no clue. Hi, how you doing, people? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, is, is that the boss over there? They're walking out. <laughs> At least that's not me. Okay, sneak to the camp to search for clues. Camp? Cave it. <gasps> what? That's the camp? I can sneak in like the way we are. Eh? This must be the warehouse they were talking about. Wait, do we take it off? There's still some leftover ink lying around. These paintings. They're all from the list. This batch is all Serenity of Shehua Village. Ming Yang's work. So all these copies from the studio. These aren't just simple copies anymore. It's obvious now. She was working with them to create forgeries. For her own gain. In the end, this is the path she chose. I, I suspected as much, though I couldn't quite... I mean, I wasn't sure. Until I saw the paintings myself. I know the father patrol this. Wait, this painting? It's the Serenity of Xiehua Village original, not a copy. Shouldn't it be at the studio? Oh, I see it now. This was the painting they stole from the studio. How can you tell them apart? These copies. They're almost identical to the original, but there are some details, subtle ones, that reflect the artist's quirks, not just their technique. The painter copied them well, but if you look closely, you'll find that the finishings are a bit, um, more rigid in some areas. I know so much about the original paintings. Well, that's because I... I what? 
Uh oh. Discords! Tacit Discords! Oh my goodness. The guests of the huh? Why did I say that? A new technique. That was easy! Oh wait. Are you hurt? No, no. I'm just catching my breath. But where did these tacit discords come from? The wishes mentioned a link between waking and teasing. Her emotions caused the painting's frequencies to fluctuate, attracting the monsters. But she's not even here. You said always, always reflects the artist's mood. It's just, I'm not really sure why her mood is reacting to us. Maybe. Could it be because I'm here? She did see what I could do with my resonance ability once. Ever since I saw her diary, I've been wondering. Maybe it was seeing my ability that inspired her to start creating those phantasms. Maybe that's why she began to lose herself in her art. It seems like all those accumulated emotions just... just burst out whenever we get close to her or one of her paintings. It's all my fault. It's neither your fault nor the paintings. But... More exiles from the art exchange. More on the later. Uh oh. Oh look, coming this way. Oh, hey, oh shit! Watch uh, out! What do you mean? Surrender your stuff. Uh, hey! <laughs> oh, you see us now, huh? Too bad. Do it. Save me, boss. Fuck your boss. Oh no. Okay, mm. should've done that. A new Titus! You're frozen! Hey! Fuck you! Tear the new pieces! Oh my god, you're gonna disable this video? We're getting out of here. Yeah, the mouth yeah, like they snuck in hell! Zap string. Easy. Oh, did you really think we'd let you just walk away after you destroyed our warehouses and interfered with our business? Business. Yes. <laughs> you. Who exactly are you people? You don't look like your patrollers. What do you want? If it's the paintings you're after, take as many as you want. We can always make new ones. Forcing people to make copies like a factory line? It's disrespecting the creator's dignity. Ah, it's just a couple of stones and trees on a piece of paper for crying out loud. Even I could draw one with the flick of a wrist. Who cares if they're real or not? For the amount of paint and ink that goes into them, I'd even go so far as to say paying those painters 20 credits each is a ripoff. How could you measure the value of creation in such a way? Oh, so you're also here for the money. Look, name a figure. We'll pay double if it'll make you shut up. How does that sound? Take it and scram. Hell no. That's not what I meant. Then what the hell do you want from me? I... I want to expose everything to the public! Nani! Aside from reporting you to the patrollers, I want to let the public know about all the forgery and smuggling you've been doing. The way you coerce the painters and, and put their lives at risk for profit? I'll expose it all. Aww... Uh, is she daydreaming? Is, is something wrong? Is she daydreaming or am I... I don't know. I like the idea. You have my support. I... I can't remain silent about this any longer. This is the only way more people can learn about the truth. You better think this through. The Shanyuan Art Exchange is not a group you want to cross. I never painted for the Art Exchange's approval. If no one else dares to speak up, then... Then I'll be the one to do it. I might just have a plan. First, we keep these guys on close watch. Then, we need to catch them off guard. And the best way to do that is... Okay, and this is back to the present. <laughs> well, that's quite the story. At best, this merely proves our involvement in the incident. Yet the real culprit remains unknown. Your accusations are groundless. Allow me to remind you. She was the one who created those paintings, insisted on selling them, and concocted the entire terrifying incident. Do you honestly believe her paintings would have earned a single penny without my intervention? No. 
Mr. Baitsu, you're changing the subject. How ungrateful. She ensnared us in this debacle, and now you dare to lay the blame at our feet. But before we proceed, I wish to present this audio recording to the court. Go on. Oh, Mr. Baitsu stopped by again. Grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yan's paintings to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Now she can't even paint, and our order is gonna be late. She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just wanted her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? Ming Yan was initially only making copies. Everything changed after you stepped in. Trickery, misinformation, and later on even threats. She was led down the path of forging artworks for you. I do understand that if her own heart hadn't wavered, none of this would have happened. But there was already no turning back by the time she wanted to quit. So saying she was the mastermind behind it all, that's just not fair. Even so, how is forgery a valid accusation? Nothing like that was mentioned in your recording, now was it? Hmm. We found the original painting in the hidden warehouse. This evidence clearly shows that these paintings are no ordinary copies, but your way of making a profit. <laughs> There's no such thing as real or fake paintings. You're not fooling anyone. For it to be forgery, there has to be another original artist. These paintings are all the work of Ming Yan. Even if she made dozens of identical copies, it wouldn't be considered forgery. Mr. Bites, do you recognize this painting? <laughs> well, of course. It's Serenity of Shehua Village, the work of the arcane artist. Then can you tell the difference between this one and the others. Of course. This piece possesses a lifelike quality unmatched by any other, all thanks to the resonance ability of the arcane artist Ming Yan. However, judging from these paintings, it seems Ming Yang's ability never stabilized successfully. Except for this original piece. What does this have to do with anything? Do you have solid evidence to prove the differences between these paintings? What you're saying is all speculation. There's no guarantee a painter won't make mistakes, is there? Artists seeking perfection always choose the highest quality pigments for their most important pieces. During our investigation of the studio, I accidentally got paint on me and discovered something interesting about the materials used in these paintings. The original paintings had pigments that were pure and brighter, able to blend more naturally and retain color for longer. In contrast, the forgeries used pigments made from mineral scraps. These don't hold up the same, smudging at the slightest touch. We can distinguish the real paintings from the fakes, simply by analyzing the ink used. Doing so only proves the so-called no, no, painting is created differently it's from the others. Saying, You're Even wrong! implying that Ming Yan is only allowed to use a single kind of pigment throughout her work? How is this supposed to prove that we are behind the forgeries? <sighs> because the original creator of Serenity and Shehua Village is me. No, what? Are you for real? Yeah, I'm, yeah, she's for real. Okay, now When what? I was a child, painting was the only way I could express myself freely. Oh, look at that. Everything I did and didn't understand, it all flowed through the tip of my paintbrush. All that I saw lived within my paintings. Whatever I thought, I painted into reality. This power to turn fantasies into reality gradually caught the interest of many. Tales of the arcane artist spread far and wide. 
I took great joy in my skills improving. However, I discovered to my dismay that my parents were using my creations to turn a quick profit. They were sold at unbelievable prices. Some sought beauty in enchanted worlds, using the paintings as a distraction from reality. Others resorted to hellish nightmares to inflict torment upon those they desire. My own abilities had led my feelings astray. They were being exploited, and everything was spiraling out of control. After I realized this, I began to fear holding a brush. I tried to paint without relying on my abilities, but my parents scolded me for it. They called anything painted without using my abilities worthless. After the family business fell apart, my parents vanished without a trace. They may have left behind a considerable mess, but freedom has also been returned to my brush. Xiehua Village was my first stop upon arriving in Jinzhou alone. Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks in the dream remain. Colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades, forgotten today. A poem I wrote, inscribed on serenity in Xiehua Village. I know it's not that well written, but it's proof of my decision to stop everything I was doing. And that painting? Well, it became the arcing artist's final piece of art. Ever since that day, paintings with special abilities gradually faded from everyone's minds. And I never used my abilities to paint again. Okay. Well, that was certainly a touching story. But I'm afraid your words alone won't be enough to prove you created this painting. Madame Juyao, to prove my statement, I request your permission to use and paint with one of these copies. Granted. Are you sure you want to do this? It's like holding hands in front of these people. Yes. Ming Yang's experience has made me realize something. To create art that truly resonates, I must first accept myself. The paintings I drew in the past, they were heartfelt creations, pieces of my life. They formed my past and shaped who I am today. It's not just about proving a single painting. It's about so much more. If my forte is the cause behind all this, then I must take responsibility. I can't just let this go on and hurt others. Okay, you're painting? Uh, I mean... It's okay. It's just... I don't know, it just doesn't have seem that special to me. Maybe I just don't get it. Oh my god, what inside? What inside this painting so distorted? Spectacle is born from the mind. This place must be a manifestation of Ming Yang's mind when she created it. Oh. What? Wait, did you hear something? <sighs> Jojo? I painted it exactly like hers. <sighs> that voice. Why is everyone still praising her work? It's all right. It's okay. She's gone. I'll be an even better painter than she ever was! Uh oh. Watch out! Oh my god, we find out already? I thought I'd be done by now. You are doing this. already done everything I can! Why are you still better than me? I'm gifted! You're not. 
you expired. You just you just inspired by how I work. That's what's called. Okay. She is gifted. Ouch. We're good. Uh Shangling, go ahead! How do I have Serious? Oh, the shield! I forgot about that. Yeah, three times. Are we fine, that next? We know this boss one already. <laughs> oh, dick beam! <laughs> it's not done, same. That's being funny. Oh ho ho! Oh my god, my girls! They're attacking all the might! Finish it! It's our current Oh my god! He destroyed it. Still, I couldn't do it. Why? I perfected everything. It's all because of your abilities. My abilities have nothing to do with it. I'm just gifted. You created masterpieces I wish came from me. Bold. Free. I know art paintings have their differences, but the heart and soul we put into them are the same. Now this color. <laughs> there we go. You shouldn't see me as a model to follow. Only when you connect with your truest feelings can you create an exceptional piece of art. She's like the uh, art god. Uh, it's on my cheeks. <sighs> now you're okay. You're good. Okay. This phantasm oh. is so cool! Too bad we won't ever see it again. Oh. Hey, the speaking. One by one. No, I'm not gonna talk to him. No, I'm just gonna get out of here. Found any keepers? <laughs> um, I'm out. When I learned the truth, I was heartbroken. I believed that by sealing my forte, no one would get hurt because of my paintings. I never expected them to continue causing harm after all these years. But Rover's words made me realize something. It was never about the paintings themselves but rather those who sought to use them to hurt others. Mr. Baitze, you run a highly esteemed calligraphy and painting institution, yet you've suppressed the creative spirit and violated these artists' dignity, all for the sake of wealth. Everything they cherished has now become a tool for profit. The works they held dear are just tools for your gain insulting to both the original artists and their imitators. Set before you is the original painting from many years ago and the one I've just completed. Now, everything has been brought to light. We received word from the Public Security Bureau 10 minutes ago that they have taken the exiles into custody and found the location where the paintings were hidden. Mr. Beitze, do you have anything else to add to your defense? He's like, no. Go to jail, bitch. Yay! <sighs> Very well. We will reevaluate Mingyan's charges 
determine the Shangyun Art Exchange's involvement in the incident, and conduct a comprehensive investigation as soon as possible. This hearing is adjourned. Yay! We did it! Got us. We do the trial. It's finally over. I didn't miss anything important, did I? You did great. Huh? No, not at all. I was just coming up with things to say as I went. My palms were sweating the whole time. I definitely couldn't have done it if you weren't there with me. Thinking about the feeling when we were investigating the case together is what kept me calm during the trial. What I meant to say is, back then, everything I said felt right. Like I could just be myself around you. It felt so good to be that relaxed. Thank you for helping me through this. You... You helped me find the courage to believe in myself. Thanks to you, look at everything we accomplished. The Shenyun Art Exchange is undergoing investigation. It'll be the end of their businesses. And the painters they coerced are finally set free. Thank you. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. Don't mention it. I want to pay Mingyang a visit. After all, she was involved in all of this, and I want to tell her everything. What do you think? Can I come with you? My commission started with her. Plus, you and I solved the case together. Why don't you come with me? Is the commission over? Yes. I already had it taken care of the day we found out the truth. All right, let's go. Yay. Okay, we're not done yet, so... After this, we got... Oh, never mind, I guess they're doing it... So... Yes, we... Wait, we are? She is below us. Wings, heed my command. Uh, okay. So we we'll talk to her. Hey, ma'am! Jaja? It's been a while. Your injuries. <laughs> the researchers have taken good care of me. A chat won't hurt. And you must be the rover. You know me? I heard about everything you did. Thank you for freeing me from those nightmares. You know what, Jaja? You may seem soft and gentle on the outside, but if your boundaries are crossed, I think you can be tougher than anyone else. And I still owe you an apology. Forgive me, because I was so obsessed with wanting to be you, to be better than you. I've caused you so much trouble. The pain of these injuries managed to put a stop to my obsession with imitating your painting. <laughs> Maybe. I was never meant to be a painter to begin with. I brought you a gift. Yes, I said the scrolling or painting from Shinshu, staring at it for a long time after opening it. <laughs> See? Only you can create a painting with such life. I still have a long way to go. This is your painting. It's the one you gave me when we first met. I... <laughs> How ironic. I've been trying to imitate you for so many years that now I can't even tell my own paintings apart anymore. Your paintings were never inferior to mine. Just look at this piece. Even you approve of its value. It doesn't matter who painted it. Mingyang, I hope you can find your true self, whoever she is. I know you can do it. Thank you for bringing me this painting. Really. Aww, May opens the school painting with Gwoski and stares at the evening data a long time. She appears lost in the dark. Sing Really? I didn't even click. I think it's safe to say she'll give it some thought. During the few times we met, she was always passionate about discussing art with me. I think that fire inside her won't just fade away. Come to think of it, the deep discussions we had and the painting duels back then felt like true friendship. So, seeing her in so much pain, I just had to help. I don't want Mingyang to lose hope and have someone who loves painting so much just disappear. I think she understood what you meant earlier. To be honest, I didn't just see this case through to correct mistakes or help the artists. Deep down, I... I didn't want to let you down. I wanted to tell you this back at the mine, but the words just didn't come out right. Hmm. It's fine. I understand what you're trying to say. Thank you for being my friend and helping me through all of this, Rover. I can say the same to you. While I have yet to uncover my past and who I am, every moment with you is a new and special memory. Thank you for your help, Jizha. This experience has helped me understand you and the world 
a little better. Oh, I think she loves us. You seem to be pretty slow on the news. Huh? So, um, why do you have glasses? So you know how to tell jokes now? <laughs> You've given me the courage to joke around. Does this mean you can do the same fun of others? Like, no! Like, <laughs> uh, seriously? Well... Let's take it slow for now. Good idea. I think she has a crush on me. In, in love with the main character, maybe? Okay. Uh, I could be this, why not? Hi, Bobo! I did have a special wish to you, but I hope it does. There's the thing I've been wanting to tell you about. I can't seem to find the right worthy person. To be honest, I'm finding my check beyond relax. I'll give you the school of pain. It's not just to help me with the biggest situation, but also because you freed me from the world that's been haunting me for years. The patrol returned to Cecily of Virginia Village that I drew during the healing. But I want you to have it now. After all, it's the reason you met. A testament to our shared journey. And a symbol of a courage you instilled to me. In a way, we created this pain together. My heart will always be connected to the place and I must admit I have been unlettered motive. I just I wanted to stay with you. Aw, that's sweet. Oh wait, that's done. Oh well, I'm gonna do. Last subscribe, I'll see you the side, you know.